Hi, uh, my name's Jackson Rees. Uh, I'm an artist and uh, my specialism is drawing. And so today with uh, Hospital Rooms Digital Art School, I'm going to be leading a workshop on tracing. Okay, so for this workshop, you're going to need uh, some paper clips and you're going to need one sheet of A2 paper, A2 tracing paper. And then beneath the A2 tracing paper, we're going to have one sheet of white A2 paper. And then you're going to need a selection of different felt tip pens. So they can be different thicknesses um, and preferably a couple of different colours. So I'd aim for about five. And then you're going to need some reference material to trace. So a couple of different images. Some, some things that are nice and different. So maybe some portraits and some different patterns and foliage. Right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to fix our tracing paper uh, to our white paper. So we're going to take two of these paper clips and we're going to fasten them to the top of the tracing paper and the white paper. And so what those do is they create a nice little hinge for us to lift up and put images beneath there. So the first image I'm going to take is this portrait here. And I'm just going to slide her underneath to the left hand side of the page. And so rather than going in with how you would normally trace with a very precise copy of what's underneath, we're going to do something just a little bit different. And we're going to take two different coloured felt tips or marker pens. We're going to get these lined up together to create a double drawing. So it's best just to focus on one of the felt tips as you begin to draw. So I'm going to start by going in with the side of the face. So up from the neck and over the ears. And so what this will do is that it will just loosen you up because you can't really focus on what it is that you're trying to make because you're making two drawings at the same time. And going around here. So because I've gone for a, a red and a blue, you end up with something that looks a little bit like uh, a, a 3D drawing that you need 3D glasses to look at. And so you don't need to worry about being accurate, just enjoy letting the pens just glide across the page. And then we'll go in and do the nose. So you don't have to worry about being too flattering with this. And then that looks like it's about done. Maybe put in a bit of the shoulder, take away our drawing. And then we've got something that makes you look a little bit dizzy doing it. And you can always go in and maybe add some extra details with this. So maybe bring out the eye and add a few bits of colour to these little shapes that have opened up. And so we're going to do this approach one more time by adding another drawing in to this side of the page. So I'm going to take this image here and pop this in down there. And so we're going to go in again for another double drawing. And again, you can go as quickly as you like. And really, the quicker that you go, the looser the drawing will be. Because if you haven't drawn in a while, then you want to shake out all the stiffness that you might have 
in your drawing hand and get something that flows nicely on the page. And let's take that out. And so what we're doing here is that we're building up almost like a colouring in grid of different lines that we can go in and add colour to later. Um, so I'm just going to add in a bit more detail around here because I feel like we need to fill this space up just a bit. So let's get a bit of pattern in here. So I'm going to take this picture of these leaves and slot them in down here. Now maybe let's go for a different colour this time, maybe a nice green. And we'll go in with just a single pen this time, since you're probably dizzy at this point from using two. And again, focus on the outlines because then you'll have a really nice grid to go back in and colour in once you're, once you're done. Because as long as you've got a strong outline, you can always go back and work on it again. Uh, at this point, I'd tell you what kind of plant this is that I'm drawing, but I'm all for like, keeping plants, so I couldn't tell you. And it's fine at this point as well if the drawings overlap, because again, this doesn't need to make sense. We're just making a nice grid to colour in. This one's done, take that out. Now, we can probably use this again, so let's move this over and add some more leaves in here. Cool, so we're making really nice shapes here uh, with which to go back in with some colour. So at this point, maybe get maybe a yellow or some other brighter colour and you can begin to start carving out some of these shapes. So the thing with a drawing like this is that you can just keep adding to it. And so the more tracings that you layer up, the denser the picture becomes and the more, the more interesting. So let's go in maybe with a red here. And so again, just like a colouring in book, you've got all these random shapes that open up. So you don't need to make the colouring in match the drawing that's been represented. You can just follow the, the design that you've made with all of these overlapping drawings. So I'll just add one more thing in. So again, you can keep building up these areas of pattern till you get something quite dense. So say if I take this drawing of these birds here, you can really begin to layer things up so let's say if I take a blue. And so the more that you layer these up, the more you get less focused on the detail and you just bring out a really nice design to go back in and work, work on. So you might work on this actually over a couple of days and come back and think, oh, I could add something in up there or over there and just let the, the image evolve the more that you add to it. So obviously you can keep working on this and adding more images and building up different areas of detail. So I would work in this gap here to make that really dense and full of colour and keep colouring in some of these shapes that open up. So if you keep working on these areas to build up different patches that are dense and some that are quite loose, you can create something 
that ends up being quite unusual. So this is one that I was working on just the other day. And so you can work on all of, the, all of these different shapes and patterns that kind of build up and add colour to them. And so I could keep working on this for days just to get a really rich and unusual pattern. So there we have it. Um, thank you very much for taking part in this workshop. Uh, I've been Jackson Reese, and uh, thank you to Hospital Rooms for having me.